Hey, what's up? This is Dilio coming to you another video, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about vocals. Uh, shout out to Anna for writing in a question. Um, here's the video question right here. Uh, the question is this. What are some things you do or or what you've done to prepare your voice to sing at shows and recording? Do you like to drink hot drinks? Do you warm up? Do you rest in your, does rest in your voice helps? So uh, the def definitely the interesting thing about this is that I probably do a lot of things that you probably shouldn't be doing to record or to sing live but i'll dive right into it so uh, i'll give you a real life scenario so a lot of times if you're gigging or you got services to perform at or worship at or sing at in the club you don't really get a lot of time to go home and prepare i mean you you come home straight for work hopefully you have an outfit already set up to go and you come home from work and then boom you're right back out the door going to the venue dealing with traffic again and one of the things i like to do is with the band is I'll, I'll sing a song that's very easy for me to sing. And I'm up to, so there's a reason, like, if you see my social media sometimes, where a lot of times, and I got kind of tired of posting this, but I kept on sing, posting the song Just the Two of Us by Bill Weathers. The reason I'm always posting that song is because it's a very easy song. It definitely gets you through the gig a little bit. And for me, it's a warm-up song. Because I don't get an opportunity to sit in a corner somewhere in a nightclub and go me, 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 da, 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 me, 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 you know, going all that stuff. Um, though those tools help, but I don't really have time for that. Uh, unless I want to sit in the car and do that, which probably is a good idea. But most of the time, I don't really have time to do that. I just sort of do my own thing and continue to vibe off of the songs that we do in a club. And so, you know, that's why I like to warm the song. It lets the, it lets the room know. It gives you an idea of how the microphone works at the same time for sound check. Uh, the band knows where to go, knows how to follow you in the song. And you get to determine, get a feel of how loud you are going to be in the video because it's a difference. I mean, once that first snare drum hits and that, that kick and that first chord hits and that vocal goes to the system, you're, in, you're under the water now. You're in, you're in the ocean now. You're swimming in this gig now. It's, it's no longer that silence and that artificial music coming from the sound system is, is you guys and so that's a great opportunity to loosen up and for me because it's not a full-time thing for me i don't get a lot of time or a lot of luxuries afforded to someone who gets to sit in the green room and chill out before a show i actually have to come off of the road set my equipment up turn on the system get the mixer running and dive in so that's why I like doing that song because it's in the lower key. So one thing you could do is sing in the songs that are in a very easy key for you to sing that you know very well. Um, that doesn't take a lot of work, and that could be your warm-up before you actually do your thing if you can't warm up in a car. And then another thing is it's like it's a challenge to do your thing and warm up vocally if you got a room weight because, I mean, like any artist, you got to think about it because you're trying to be con considerate and compassion to other people that are in your vicinity you're trying to make sure you're not bothering somebody or disturbing someone especially if you got like a roommate in the house and you're like okay oh my, they like it they hate it you know you wonder about these things you know and honestly at the end of the day i guess the best decision to make on that is to ask them hey how's this going with that does this bother you does this not bother you you okay you're not okay um i'm not used to this i'm more used to just having my own space so it's important to have that kind of conversation i do like to drink uh uh, warm tea even though I don't I don't do that I mean I'm very a traditional and probably I practice a lot of very improper things with singing but I do have a booth so that helps me at least get the bike quality good but uh yeah there's a lot of times where you don't really even get the opportunity to to um warm up but I do know that singing a few times like even recording in the studio like for me if you can afford the time in the studio <sighs> And and I used to really get annoyed by this, but if you got the budget for it, pay for the time to rehearse in the studio. Pay for the time to rehearse in the studio if you got that, or rehearse in your car or something. It's very good to be rehearsed and warmed up before you get to the recording session uh, to make the value of your time, but sometimes you may not have that option. So in that case, you don't have the option. You actually have to fit the bill for more studio time. Say, all right. And then let the engineer know, like, hey, um, you know, I'm booking four hours at the studio so the first two hours i'm going to or the first hour i'm going to spend uh warming up so i'm just going to be doing that for and, and if the studio if you're fitting the bill for the studio i'm quite sure they'll accommodate um but on another level though it can be annoying to the engineer because you know they want to help you get a song done and you're still figuring out how the song goes on your dollar and, and a, lot, a lot of times even me myself like i hate to see you kind of wasting your money right now 
this is how you can do this better. But at the end of the day, it's their, it's their money. But back on the vocals, I definitely do believe that singing songs in lower keys and easier keys and songs that you know by heart will definitely get you uh, in the right place and build confidence. And then also take time learning new songs. I think it's important to learn new songs. It's important for me to, as a producer to learn new songs as well uh, because... I have a tendency, I don't know if you see a lot of keyboardists do, do this, but we have a tendency to play that one warm-up song. Every time we turn on a keyboard, we play that same warm-up song. Or we play in the same key like me. I always play in C or E flat. I was trying to play stuff in F. And and in order for me to increase my chord vocabulary, I really do have to learn more songs. Um, if you really want to learn how to sing or learn how to play, gospel music It's just gospel music it's the most advanced to me it's the most advanced type of music for pop music it's like it's like pop music times a hundred and all of the music is just a watered down version of gospel music that's my opinion on that so definitely i hope this helps um but yeah keep on singing keep doing your thing this is a video for vocalists and just know that um tools like warm tea warming up does help but if you don't have that luxury, just dive into a song you know. You don't have to strain. You don't have to belt out. But dive into a song that you know with the band that's easy and do that. And uh, that will at least get you warmed up. And another thing before I go is that that's why singers like to record it late. Because when you're dealing with that dry air, especially right now with it being wintertime, you're dealing with the dry air. You're dealing with artificial heat. Artificial heat just soaks the humidity right out of the air. It just takes it right out. It makes your voice very dry in the morning which is why I like to record at night. The reason I like to record at night uh, is for a few reasons. Uh, the first reason is that it enables me, I'm just at a different state of mind. Um, I've taken care of the tasks that I need to do for the day. And with the tasks that I need to take care of during the day out of the way, it enables me to focus more on just chilling out and and, and focusing. And, and because oftentimes when you're recording, you're, you're in a vulnerable state. You you're already, you're already fully aware of all your mistakes. And, you know, if you don't do the right take, you got to go ahead and do it again. So you're really, you're really at a vulnerable state and you need an environment that doesn't attack that vulnerable state. Or you have to develop a new skin and say, screw it, I'm going to mess up. I'm going to sing. I'm going to do this thing and develop a skin and not be in a vulnerable state and say, hey, if I mess up, well, then I do another take and that's it. But it, 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 there's, there's very different uh, degrees on that. You know, so, yeah, if you like this type of content, let me know. I hope to answer your question. And a shout out to you for asking the questions and helping me on this gratitude series. We got more content coming up soon, doing videos every day of the week as I finish up this album. I recorded another song last night. Going to do some more today. All right, I'm gone. Peace out.